let me take something really simple like playing with your cat and make it complicated. But why would I do that? As many of you fabulous pet parents are beginning to realise, especially with cats, they're not just these things that just sit and sleep and eat and poop all day. They need some stimulation. And I'm gonna go through a play sequence with you. So everything in a play sequence mimics what a cat would do in the, in the outside world, in the wild when it's hunting. So we think we're playing with our cats, but our cats are actually rehearsing their natural instinct to kill. So firstly, the first sequence, the arousal sequence. So this would be when you would actually play something like cat TV. So the cat is aroused both audibly and also visually from watching the cat TV and it gets ready to prepare for the play. This in the wild, of course, would be a cat looking at a bird in the tree or looking at a mouse in the undergrowth and thinking, okay, game on. The next part of the sequence would be the stalking. As I've just said, this in the, in the wild, it would be the cat um, stalking the bird or the mouse or whatever it is it's after. But in your front room, you're gonna offer some um, wand play or a shoelace or something so the cat can actually lock onto it visually and then it can watch and move and it can do that funny bottom wiggle and it can stalk low belly. So make it difficult for your cat to see it. Don't just, you know, throw it at it and go, oh yeah, come, come find it. Mice don't do that for cats. So the next sequence is when the energy level goes up a bit. So this is the time if you're gonna use a laser, use it now. So you get the cat's energy up and they are doing the, the stalking, they're doing the chasing and hopefully they're gonna do the capture. So now it is the capture and manipulation. So if you're doing laser play, at this point you stop, you end the laser on something malleable that the cat can actually grasp and put in its mouth. Bring in here furry, mousy shaped, catnip sensed objects. After a manipulation part of the play, this is now when we're gonna bring in the wind down. So this is when you bring in your snuffle mats where there can be um, rewards in there as well. And this also fulfills the innate hunt, kill, eat, drive. So it's another good reason why you always play before food because this anticipatory um, exercise is all part of a precursor to a cat eating normally. Who knew that cat play could be so complicated? There you go, I told you that cats weren't easy. Hopefully that's debunked it all for you and I hope you have great play sessions now with your cat. Always remember to give them a reward at the end. Give me a like and a follow for some more cat brain works.